Drew's debut with Jonathan Drew, the man himself. Always a pleasure to see you, Jonathan. Thank you very much, Drew. It's a pleasure to see you guys as well. Right, so what exciting thing do we have to look at from IBCPR this year? Well, thank you for asking. The uh, I know you guys spent a little time with Steve Saka, and you discussed the Liga Privada, probably at nauseum. So, We'll keep ours a little more refined to, to a different product. So what I'd like to discuss is this product here. It's called My Uzi Weighs a Ton. People in the industry call it Muat. Um, and, you know, even though the name is kind of uh, insane, the product actually is it. The product is uh, right down the middle. It's a true medium body product. Uh, you see, Drew Estate makes different products for different markets. Even the name of our company we've changed over the last three, four years ago was is now Drew Estate Tobacco Company. My interests in tobacco range from premium, super premium, popular price, mass market, you know the shisha tobacco that we do, Java Mint. Java Mint might turn out to be the biggest product of the year at the show. You're, you're going to see products like you know Romeo and Monty, of course, in terms of a volume style product. So a Java Mint is going to be a big giant thing. This is a small thing. Uzi weighs a ton. This is what I call a local product. This is the first collaboration product between us and Hoya de Nicaragua. You see, Drew Estate, as you know, we've done actually uh, an interview in, in Houston together where we did the uh, Hoya. Hoya de Nicaragua is distributed by Drew Estate as well as marketed. But we don't do their blending. We don't do their factory. We don't do production for them. So when we first started doing the tours, um, we always would do a blending session at Drew Estate. Then we started to include a blending session at, at Hoya de Nicaragua. So it was there on our first blending session that I started to bring over uh, material from Drew Estate to Hoya and we rolled them at their place. So My Uzi Weighs a Ton is essentially Drew Estate's wrapper. It's a San Andreas Maduro. It's a Negro. It's a binder, which is a Connecticut seed grown in Ecuador, also Drew Estate. And as you guys remember from your blending trip, half of the filler in the cigar is Matafina from Brazil, which everybody loves for that sweetness. So the other half of the filler is Hoya de Nicaragua filler. They're typical strong tobaccos. It's got their Esteli, Ligero, and then a Jalapa Viso and a um, Seiko from Condega. And so it's got elements from our factory, elements from their factory in terms of uh, raw material. And then the construction is done at their place, blended by myself. So it's a true medium bodied stick, but it's a niche product. It's a 6x60, 5x60, and 7x60. 895, 995, 1095 a stick. They come in five count packs for the six by sixty only. All the other packs come in the um, come in the ten count pack. So you'll see them in the stores in these trays like this, where the sticks will be in there individually. It'll say here my Uzi weighs a ton and here my Uzi weighs a ton. And it'll say medium bodied on it, so no mistakes are made. It's truly a medium bodied product. So I suggest this cigar to people who really do smoke a 6x60. If you're a Lancero or a Corona guy or a Corona Gorda, you're going to smoke this cigar, you're going to be underwhelmed. It's it's not made for that guy. It's made for the 660 guy. Or girl. So, that's what's cracking with the uh, with the My Uzi Ways a ton. You want to check out the car? Come here. Check this out. Please. So, you know, in true estate form, I know you guys with the whole show got a lot of a lot of cool cigar stuff going on, and you want to jump in there? Yeah, you're a laugh. I know the owner. Just slide in there. She's looking cool in that vehicle, huh? Just don't steal it, because we need it for a couple more shows. I'm just... <laughs> it's comfortable or what? So cool, man. So live from the IPCPR, let me just say that... Um, it's great to always spend time with you guys, and uh, thanks so much for, you know, you guys have always been good to us. Thank you. And you really have a great program. Let me tell you something. I always am amazed to see how many people see your videos, and you guys are really into the finer things in life, and what I really like about what you do is, whatever it is, it's sophisticated. And you know what? We might dress a little gangsta in Drew Estate and be a little off the beaten track and maybe a little rough around the edges. But underneath, when you really look at all the layers at Drew Estate, there's a lot of depth and there's a lot of sophistication. 
and I like the way you guys shoot. I like the way you guys are in the industry. Whoever you talk to about you guys, it's always positive. So keep up all the great work. And thanks for being our friend, man. You guys have been great. Seriously, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You know what, I have to ask you one last question on that note, really. Um, something that I really have been curious to find out from everybody is, um, for you, on a perfect day, you're having a cigar, you're having a drink, what are you smoking and what are you drinking? Uh, for my smoking stuff, what I really enjoy the most in the premium sector and super premium, um, I will say that I've been known to pretty much smoke I like to smoke everything in terms of understanding what people are doing with their tobaccos. But when it comes to a moment where I'm not smoking to learn, uh, you probably see me smoking a handful of cigars from a Padron 1926 number no. 9, the 35. And now I've been moving into some of their uh, um, natural leaves, not, not just the Maduro. Uh, Epernay is one of my go-to sticks. Um, almost every size of Epernay. Padilla Miami. Padilla 26, uh, excuse me, Padilla um, uh, 68, and uh, the Dominus is a little stronger than, than it's not as refined as the, as the Miami. I also like um, some of the stuff that Willie was doing at the Teton de Bronze factory, and as you know, he's new on board with us, he's not, no new products. Yeah, thank you, that's what we're looking forward to, too. He's, he's got a year of work to do just to... A lot of companies would rush with Willie and get it, get the brand out. But you know, for us, there he is. There's Stretch right there. So, uh, so uh, you know, we're taking our time with Willie. Thank God, Drew Estate's got good finances right now, so we're able to really let him learn about all the tobaccos that we have at Drew Estate and teach his team, his pairs, his trainer. I mean, his uh, supervisor at the place, so that he's able to get his team down. Um, what else do I smoke? I smoke. Uh, Pork tenderloins when I can get them. I've had a bunch of those. I smoke a lot of peat stuff. Uh, uh, my father is one of the most interesting cigars that I've smoked in a while because what he's doing with the Habano from Ecuador. So it's it's not that I smoke everything of his. I don't smoke everything of mine on the regular. It's that the things that I like, I like. What he's doing with the Ecuador Habano. I like the direction he's going in with that, and I think there's a lot of room with that Ecuador Habano to um, to to work that tobacco in different ways. And we've been getting involved with that Ecuador Habano, also from Oliva Growing Family, from the same place. And um, you know, Pepin does his thing; we do ours. Totally different, and he, I got a lot of respect for him. We're good friends, and. Uh, I've been really interested in that tobacco, that Ecuador Habano. Other than that, let me see. We got that kid, uh, Frank Herrera. I like his product a lot, what he's doing. Um, when I want super full body, you know, I go for a Hoya. I still, to this day, regular Antonio. The Dark Corojo, when they've sat a year, are very good. But that cigar needs to sit and age a little bit. Um, what else is going on that's really good? I think, oh, in the liquor department. Yeah, what about you drink there? You know what? These days, it's a little bit of scotch. And believe it or not, the Glenlivet, I've been hitting that. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I guess I got a couple of bottles, and, you know, you start banging on it, and it turns out that you get used to it. I like it. And, uh, I'm not the biggest drinker in the world, but when, I, when I'm having a stick that I really want to kick back, it's a scotch. Stephanie, so what do you like? I like, uh, you know, it depends on my mood, but if I go for a scotch, there's, I, I need to do rum, I'll do scotch, or I do like a classic cocktail. For me, it's like a bijou or a champs or a hookah. I like you the You look good coffee. with the scotch, but you can't drive and drink. Don't drink it and drive it. And always smoke in moderation, because it's important, everything in moderation. And, um... God bless you guys, man. Thanks so much for, for including us. Thank All right. You. Thank you for being an inspiration. And one last thing I really do want to say is because you said the whole trend about like being kind of gangster in style. To me, you're very traditional. It may not look that way, but to me, you're very traditional. You're very real. You're true to what you, who you are. Everything that you do means something true and real to you. So. Thanks, man. I, I, I appreciate. Gonna, I mean, that. that's an inspiration for me. Nice, man. No, we. I, I can tell you, our two companies, we both. Uh, we both do things authentic. I think that if you're going to put a car in your marketing, build a car. It doesn't have to be done on, on the Photoshop. You know, you can be authentic in what you do. 
I see how hard you guys work with what you do. You don't just come on, yeah, you're a good looking girl, but you, you really love premium cigars. You, you really, both of you guys are, you really love it. I, I watched you guys in Nicaragua. You were enjoying yourself. You were listening. You were learning. Some guys, you know, you're in the you're in the fields over there, and, and their minds are in, you know, other areas. You guys loved it. I just watched you in Nicaragua. I have a great photo of you guys in the subculture studios, finally kicking back with your feet up. Remember that shot I took of you guys? So, listen, man, I appreciate that, that, that we've been inspirational in some way with you guys, and I'm sure there's a lot of newer people coming into the industry over the last couple of years who have come in because of you guys. And that's good because, you know, Drew State, we do our thing, and we appreciate creativity, innovation, and authenticity, and I think you guys got that covered, too. So, like I said before, God bless you, man. All right, we're speaking with you soon. Take care. Bye. Adios.